Welcome to month two of our 2019 charity quilt along called Threadology. From February to May 2019, we will be releasing two blocks per month for free. And then in June, we will be releasing the finishing pattern and the backing pattern. These are all free patterns and we are asking for a donation to make a wish. Moda will be matching $10,000 and Fat Quarter Shop will be matching $10,000. So we're hoping to raise over $10,000 from our customers and we truly appreciate your support for Make-A-Wish. This block is going to be our nine patch block, which is block two. You're going to make one 12 inch block and four six inch blocks. The 12 inch on this time is going to go on the back of your quilt, which is totally fun. And we have lots of giveaways, so stay tuned to the end to enter the giveaway. And let's start block two. Making a nine patch block is totally easy, but I'm going to give you some tips. The B's are your darker prints and your A is your lighter. And I'm gonna show you how I chain piece. So I'm gonna be putting right sides together, just like this, putting a pin once at the bottom. And I'm gonna show you how we chain piece and press and make it quick for you guys. So I usually leave it laid just like this, and then I'm gonna go to my sewing machine. I am gonna use a leader and an ender, which means I'm gonna first stitch a little bit on a scrap piece of fa fabric so that uh, my stitches don't come out and it just makes it easier and it saves thread. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna sew my first one. When I get to the end, I'm gonna keep sewing. I'm not gonna cut my threads. I do like to pull my pins out before I sew on them so I don't break my sewing machine. So now I'm at the end, so I'm gonna cut off my leader and I'm gonna make it an ender. And just sew on it and then cut here. So we're gonna lay this back on the table then I will cut apart and then pin the next section. I'm not gonna press in between, but you can if you prefer. It's totally, um, do whatever you feel comfortable with. And I do like to cut it apart after I have it laid out so everything goes the right direction. So I'm gonna put these pins in. I do this right on my cutting table too. And then just pull it as I stitch. So now we will go back to the sewing machine and stitch down this pin part. So we've got the ender from before and I'm just gonna keep stitching. Using those helps me not lose my thread in the machine and I think it saves thread. So I'm gonna keep that, I'm not gonna cut, I'm gonna just keep going. And this is how I do all my sewing with chain pieces. So to press, I'm gonna leave the last stitches attached. And I'm going to set my seam. I do use steam. I'm gonna to press toward my darker fabric. And when I'm pressing, I do not move my iron back and forth. I just do it very gentle. Set the seam, press. Turn this around. I think it is important to press your seams. When I try to skip and not press or set my seams, my blocks don't come out as accurate or as straight. So we're gonna get all those done. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin everything. I'm actually gonna leave these, I'm not gonna cut it apart, I'm just gonna leave everything together. And I'm going to pin one side. This is a big block, so you've got lots of room. 
So I'm gonna pin both sides at the same time to save myself time when I go to the sewing machine. If it was a smaller block, I probably wouldn't do that. I would probably pin one side, press, pin one side and press. But since we have lots of room, I'm gonna do this. And then we are gonna to go to the machine and sew both seams and then come back and press the block. So here's our block. I do like to check to make sure my centers all um, intersect and if they don't I will unpick and then re-sew but that's totally optional. It's up to you, personal preference. So I'm going to set a seam and now we will trim down our block. When I'm done with my blocks, I like to make them square. I do not use a square ruler and I'm not checking to make sure it's 12 and a half. All I'm doing is making the edges straight. You're not, you're trying not to trim anything off. So I'm just barely trimming the edge to make sure that this is straight. It will make it easier when we put it together on our final assembly. And you can see these blocks came out almost perfectly. I'm hardly trimming anything off. I do this on all my quilts. It also gets um, some of the little um, just little threads that have come off. Get some nice and neat. So again you're going to be making one 12 inch and four 6 inch 9 patch blocks. Check for this week's giveaway and stay tuned for our next block.